We live, baby. What's going on, man? This is the Golden Goose DFS Show. I am your host, Chandler Blakely, man. Here today to bring you my starting five on DraftKings and FanDuel, man. Just five or some plays I'm on early, man. Before news breaks and things of that nature, sometimes they still in place. Sometimes they change by time lock. But just to give you a good basis, man, get you started on your day, on your research, man. Go follow on Twitter at DFS Goose, man. I'll be posting my updates closer to lock on some of the plays I like and my play of the day, all right? <clears throat> Let's get right into today's slate man we got a nice slate over set right now for fantasy basketball man hopefully no games get canceled or any super crazy news today know it's gonna be some crazy news but just hoping it ain't it don't destroy the slate by the time lock gets here all right so with that being said man let me give y'all what y'all came for today which is my starting fire all right open it up right now man the guy i'm really liking that point guard man it's my guy SGA, man. Shea Gilgis Alexander, man. Love him in this spot against the Bulls, man. Should be a pretty up and down game. Lackluster defense over there in Chicago, man. I'm hoping the ownership is down on him a little bit since he kind of laid two duds his last couple of games. But this is a perfect spot for him to get off the snide here against the Bulls, man. Y'all know he's the, he's the alpha male over there. He runs the offense, man. He set the table for everybody, man. Love SGA today in this spot against Chicago, all right? Coming in at my shooting guard, man. I'm going to try to steal some uh, some early value I'm looking at right now. Going right back to the well. His price came up, but he's still cheap enough, man. We're going with Mr. Alexander Walker, man, from down there in New Orleans, man. He still should be in line to start today. Lonzo's still out. Only thing that's going to affect him today Zion is playing, and Eric Bledsoe could be back, which probably take away some from some of his uses and a couple of his shots. So you you won't see the monster game you saw last time. But you, <clears throat> at forty four hundred, man, he still he should still should be able to pay off this price tag, man. He likes to score. He's going to shoot the ball. If he get hot and gets going, man, he, he should continue to shoot. All right, I like Alexander Walker in this matchup right here against the Lakers. All right. Coming in at small forward, man. The pricing's real tight on DraftKings together, man. Real tight today. You're going to have to piece it together, man. I don't see any extreme value. Like, everybody's appropriately priced. So, you really going to have to dig in and put lineups together right now before any news breaks that drives everyone to a cheap value, all right? So, the guy I'm looking for for a little bit of value, a little bit of salary relief, not much. At small forward is DeAndre Hunter, man. Solid, man. He's playing 30-plus minutes a game. Gallinari is out, so that helps with his minutes, man. He's, a, he's almost at a fantasy point a minute. Seeing 30-plus, man, he has a good chance of 6 x on this uh, 6K price tag for us today in this matchup against the Jazz, all right? Does a little bit of everything, man. Hopefully, he can find some offense today and hit up some upside for this 6K, all right? Coming in at power forward today. I'm running with my guy, Aaron Gordon, man. Has a matchup against a depleted front court in Boston. Don't know who's all going to be back, but we know they're not at full strength right now. I know Tatum is out. So Aaron Gordon should be able to uh, get going, man, against this uh, depleted front court. Like I said, 30 plus minutes. He's rounding back in the form, man. Great usage. He, he he's gonna provide rebounds and a little scoring punch. Hopefully he can get a, a steal or two and then maybe a block or something to really help with the upside of this 7,300 price tag. But I like Aaron Gordon today at the power forward, all right? And coming in at my at my center, man. The guy I'm looking to get some exposure to, I know he's going to go overlooked, but that's my man, Jonas Valanciunas, man. It's it's always a mixed bag with him, man. He can give you 50. He can give you 25. Hopefully, he stays out of foul trouble. Nice matchup here against Towns. They should need him in there to uh, defend Towns and body him up a little bit. Like I said, if he can avoid foul trouble and uh, and get 30-plus minutes, man, he, he should easily return value for you on this 7,100 price tag, all right? That's just one of the centers I'm looking at today, all right? And there you have it, guys, my starting five on DraftKings right now. 
SGA, Alexander Walker, DeAndre Hunter, Aaron Gordon, and Jonas Valanciunas. All right. Let's go take a look at the fan duel side today. But before we lose, before we do, <clears throat> y'all know what to do, man. Hit the subscribe button, man. Hit the like button, man. If you're rocking with your boy, even if you ain't rocking with your boy, still hit the like button, man. It goes a long way, man. All right, fan duel. All right, open it up, man. You see it at the top, De'Aaron Fox, man. I love this price tag over here on our fan, though. He's almost a thousand dollars cheaper than he is on DraftKings. Solid matchup against the Clippers, man. Should be in line for good minutes and good production. He he got it going last game against the uh, Trailblazers. I expect him to continue with that trend and give us a solid performance right here for this seventy three hundred price tag. All right. Next up, shooting guard. I'm rolling with him today, man. Planting my flag, man. SGA, man. Last night it was Brogdon. The night before that it was Fox. We're going to see if we can't keep rolling, man. I'm planting my flag with SGA across both sides today, man. And I absolutely love that play today, all right? Next up, man, small four. <clears throat> Great price as well over here on FanDuel, man. Chris Middleton, man. I think he's underpriced over here. On fan duel, man. He's over a fantasy point a minute. Should, finally should be a, a closer contest where he should get 35 minutes in this matchup against the Mavericks, man. And at that price with that production, man, he should easily pay off this 7400 price tag. And you got the potential for upside because he can go up with a 35 minutes just depending on how the game go. I love Chris Middleton in this matchup against the Mavericks, all right? Next up, man, power forward. Keeping with the trend, man. Still rolling with Aaron Gordon. Like I say, I like this matchup against a depleted Boston front court. Should be too athletic for him down there. Too strong. Love his production rates, man. Get you some Aaron Gordon, all right? And staying with it at center, man. Rolling them out on both sides again. Jonas Valanciunas, man. Same rules apply. Easy match. I ain't going to say easy matchup, but... Nothing to worry about in the defensive car, Anthony Towns, man. And actually, um, it's a chance John Morant comes back tonight. That actually helps him. If, if Morant is back, I, it gives him more opportunities in the pick and roll with Ja for, you know, picking pops or even just crashing to the lane because Morant's threat and af Morant's athleticism and the threat of getting to the cup puts pressures on the, put pressure on the defense in the pick and roll. So that's going to benefit Jonas Valanciunas, man. I like him in this matchup, all right? There you have it, guys. My starting five on FanDuel today. De'Aaron Fox, SGA, Chris Middleton, Aaron Gordon, and Jonas Valanciunas, man. Get you some exposure to these guys. Get plenty of them in your player pool. I know I will. And y'all know what to do, man. Hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like button for your boy. We here every day, man, bringing you the goods. All right? Y'all know the motto, man. Chances make champions. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Let's go.